But we are finally, mercifully, 22 minutes later than scheduled, ready for the opening face-off. My name is Jonathan Fernley, this is Hull Stingrays TV, and this is the Capitals and the Stingrays in Gardner Conference action. First touch for the Stingrays for Matt Lark. Finally got his visa, he's arrived, and he's making his Stingrays debut tonight. Heidlowski tries to play the pass out, and it is caught in the crowd. A great catch as the puck deflected off the head of Carl Lozon. And so in the early stages of this, the Caps are running with all three lines. Oh, and Pasha well cut off by Boyd. And Pasha is holding his arm and he's coming off. He's taking a nasty one, I think his elbow got pinched into the board. The hit from Callum Boyd was perfectly legal, no questions about that. Pasha dropped his stick and was feeling his right arm. And then Petran gives a shove and knocks Havato down to the ice. This game's getting physical and the Stingrays have gone offside. Long pass forward, taken in by Davis. And then the give and go, and Lark's in behind. He's got Meyer in support. Yarrell is the only man back. Lark, well, sorry, it was the save made to deny the Stingrays. It was a beautiful pass from Lark to Meyer. And the save from Hydlovsky is the best of the night. Stingrays turn it over and move down the ice with Havato. Room here, opportunity, lovely stick handling, but not getting the shot away, Tanaka. Made the move around Heidlowski. Now here comes Portwood, Nasland, no opportunity to get the shot off, he was crowded out. Benitsky, Ricks, shoulder to shoulder with Havato, Davis has it. And now room on the far side, forward comes Turcott. Dropped off, bounce pass, looking for uh, Lozon who tried the little back pass but it was Portwood who got down and blocked it Stingrays have hustled in to win it back one timer from Chilcott and that one fluttered and uh, was not a lot of pace behind it and Heiglowski held on Portwood, oh the little pass back Petran into the blocker, it's underneath and it's chucked underneath David Brown and I think Ricks had every right to poke at that. Brown is not happy. But with the puck being loose, or at least not knowing where it is, I think he had every right to jab at it. And again, that is League Challenge Cup and Conference against the Devils. We're inside the final minute as the shot is saved and Matty Davis is now in trouble over on the far side. And he has gone down to the ice. And the Stingrays, who've already lost Omar Pasha, might be about to lose Matty Davis too. So no news on the Panthers score. In fact, we're hearing it is Graham who has scored the Panthers goal. But right now, all the concern is for Matty Davis. I have to say, I'm not sure what caused the injury, whether the puck has come up and hit him or whether it's a stick or whether he's fallen awkwardly. Seemed to be an incident that took place a little bit behind the play. We are meanwhile back to full strength. But Davis is a warrior. It'll take a lot to keep him out. But inside the final minute of the period, still scoreless. At the moment, the Singrays are without their player coach and without their captain. We are five on five at the start of the second period. Your referees are Tom Darnell and Stefan Hogar. Your linesman Paul Stanifer and James Kavanagh. So Caps possession there in the white shirts and the red helmets. And they're attacking the goal away to our right in this period. Pass intercepted by the Stingrays. And here comes Matt Lark who's been impressive on debut. And a shot into the side of Heidlowski's goal. Here's Lozon. Stingrays combined to win the puck back. Out in front, Meyer with the shot. Oh, he got tangled up in the legs of Grimaldi. I don't think the puck ever really got through to Heidlowski. But it does get through to Ricks. Naslund's joining up in support. Naslund! Oh, and the save is made, and the net has come loose. And remember, there is... And there's a turnover, Portwood. 
Ricks trying to get it back to Portwood. It's worked. It's a goal for the Capitals. Ricks and Portwood. And the opener goes to the visitors. It's a lovely link up with Portwood for the opening goal. And now Law's on. He's got in behind Benitsky. Lovely move and a lovely goal. Hydlovsky's aggression comes back to bite him. And Lowe's on silky hands, ties the game up. Trying to get around Petran and Havato just gives him a shove and still gets to the puck first. And he's still on it, Osman. Oh, through a crowd! It may have touched Lowe's on, but it's certainly beaten Hydlovsky. He went underneath and the Stingrays have got two in quick succession and turned this game right around. It was Osman who sent it towards goal. Not sure who they'll credit with it. It may well be him. But it may have... Turcott off the boards, off the officials, and kept in for the caps. Opportunity, Petran with the shot, and reaching out with the glove and knocking it down was Brown. Still danger, still Capitals possession. Beautiful goal. What a slap shot. Yarolin. The net came off, but that doesn't matter. That was after the puck. Had bulged the net, and the caps are all tied up. So we are back to 2-2. And the Caps come forward with Ricks. Oh, it's well, it's well all the way through and the goal is scored. It's put in, I think it's Grimaldi who's got it. What a turnaround. The Stingrays have thrown their lead away in less than 30 seconds. Going into the third period of both games this season. Opportunity, Brown makes the save, the puck is still loose. Oh, it's gone underneath! The Caps have scored again. A real scramble. And I think it's Ricks that's nudged this one over the line. And the Caps have a two-goal cushion for the first time. Brown made the initial stop. And he thought it was covered, but it was obviously loose. And Ricks has knocked it in. And the stick... Well, they'll have to go some to make it happen. Here's Lozon. Return to Tauno. He tried to lift one in. And it was into the body of Hydlovsky. The Caps have come from behind to lead this game too. They've got a power play. They've got an opportunity. Oh, and Ricks has just nudged off the puck. And now there's going to be a little bit of shoving at the side of David Brown's goal. So Chilcott is out of the box, we skate five on five again. And the Stingrays have got a little over seven minutes to find two goals. And that one has hit Chartrain in the face. And he is making his way straight off. And it looks like it's cut him around the mouth. And we have quite a little bit of blood. And Chartrain who missed. Missed a couple of games as he was recovering from a knock in pre-season. And Stingrays won a high-sticking penalty, but I think it was the puck that came up and caught him. The shot from the point, but we now have a blood on the ice, and that will need to be cleared up. By the hit from Benitsky. Tangle in the corner. The Stingrays wanted a penalty as Tanaka was pressed against the boards after the puck had got away. A hold or an interference. The Stingrays are desperate for anything right now. And then Havato having words with Portwood. The Caps don't need to get involved in any of this. They've got the lead. They need to stay disciplined. And the Stingrays have won this draw. Havato takes over. The shot from a very narrow angle is deflected. And is there a penalty coming against the Stingrays here? I think there is. It's a slashing call, it's going to go against the Stingrays. Or is it? Thought a Caps player had his stick knocked out of his hand. I'm, I stand corrected, it is going against the Capitals. Looks as though Flemington had the stick knocked out of his hand, but it is a slashing call that's going to go against the Caps. And this is the Stingrays' opportunity, and I wonder if they should call timeout here. He keeps it in the zone, moved across. 
Galbraith with the shot, the save is made, oh the puck was loose and the whistle did not need to go then. So the slightly early whistle is not a good one for the Stingrays. Pash is not happy down on the bench. And it looks as though David Brown may well be called off and the Stingrays look like they're going to be going six on four. And David Brown is on the bench for the extra skater. And the puck is cleared and this will do it. Oh, they do avoid the offside, but they miss. Can you believe Ricks has missed? I tell you what, they haven't missed a second time. The Caps have clinched this game. The Stingrays bench aren't happy. I think they wanted an offside call. They haven't got one. And it is the Edinburgh Capitals who will claim the points tonight. The empty net goal was fired in by Portwood. And that will do it.